Good morning and welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Hope you guys are well. Um, I hope it's all going you know, smooth and swimmingly or as much as it can be in these somewhat crazy times. Um, quick weather update. Beautiful, cold, crisp, incredibly sunny, absolutely gorgeous out there. We had a snow day yesterday in London, well, my part of London. Um, so my wife and son were out playing in the snow, which was great. Unfortunately, I couldn't go out because I had been pinged on the old NHS track and trace. So I've already done one 10 day period of isolation into the new year. Um, and then I came home from work on Thursday, no, on Wednesday and Thursday morning, ping, there it was. It came up on the uh, NHS app. I had been near someone or something like that. I've no idea where or who, uh, but I had to isolate for four days. So that's over, so I'm free ish as free as you can get in the in the massive lockdown so that was it really another four days of staying indoors thankfully you know my wife and son they didn't have to isolate so they could carry on as normal so that's really what's been happening in my world i hope you haven't had any dramas and i hope everything is cool in the gang anyway enough waffle about me let's talk about a perfume so this one is another one that was sent to me by the guys at aroma concepts um, and this is called, this is by Cadlage, and this is called Oud Pour Noble. Now, this is the one I've got. They are changing the caps very soon, so I'll put a picture up of what they're going to be looking like. So there you have it. Now, this is an interesting one. I'm wearing it today. I've managed to, and my wife's wearing it as well, actually. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the notes, um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the perfume now these bottles i've got to say are absolutely wonderful they're just i mean i have the oud pour classic as well which i absolutely adore that's a really really good one but this is the same bottle um now they are as i say they are changing these caps so i'm not going to spend too much time talking about them but this one is really good it's really solid very very heavy so there you have it let's have a quick look at the notes and then i'll spray a little bit more not too much um, and then, you know, we'll talk a bit more about the perfume. So at the top, you have bergamot and you have rose. And then in the mid, you have freesia and you have orchid. And then at the base, you have patchouli and oud. So let's give it a quick spray. Amazing stuff. Now, <laughs> here it is. As soon as you smell it, you will recognize it completely recognize it now what do you think looking at the notes bergamot rose freesia orchid patchouli and oud what do you think it's going to smell like well here we go it's going to smell a little bit like this one which is an abiada rouge it smells quite a lot like this one which is mancera's instant crush and it smells an awful lot like this one which is thomas Cosmala's april l'amour number four so yeah and all of these perfumes have got something in common they are all certainly inspired by maison francis curly jeans baccarat rouge 540 every house has one in their collection well not every house but it seems that like every every house is kind of doing a kind of a br 540 style perfume um and so cadillage have, have joined the gang um and oud pour noble is a good one i think it's around 50 pounds it sits um, so it's certainly less expensive than this one and at least half the, well under half the price of this one. The cheapest one I've got is obviously this one um, and this is a good one for the money but its performance is nowhere near any of these. Uh, and then when we talk of performance, this one is an absolute banger. So when it arrived, uh, you know, I, was, I looked at the notes, etc, cetera, etc cetera, and I was thinking, okay, I don't know what this is going to smell like. You know, this could go anywhere, rose, freesia, orchid, patchouli oud. Um, and I sprayed it, and that second that hits your skin, there it is. You know you're in a BR540 world, and it does it very, very well. Now, I have a problem with the uh, BR540 um, style perfumes, and that is my wife absolutely loves it. So she has been hammering this one, uh, and this is now like £140 a bottle from Harrods only. So I use it quite sparingly, but my wife had taken it upon herself to try and deplete my supplies of it, as quickly as she could and she'd been wearing it every day for work so instantly i sprayed this and thought oh this might be one for the wife now i sprayed this i applied it properly um a good few sprays 
about 10 o'clock in the morning, I think it was. Um, and then my wife came home from work about half five, six in the, in the evening and said, oh, you smell nice. You're wearing that special one again, aren't you? And I said, no, I'm not actually. I'm wearing this one. So she was, oh, OK, um, can I try that? I said, yeah, look, I'll tell you what, can you wear it for me? Because, you know, my wife now, she's, she's obviously in the hospital every day. They're working all the hours that, you know, they can um, to, to, to try and help out with this pandemic. And, you know, some days my wife is doing her normal job, which she's looking after or, you know, she's a specialist in, in one particular field. And other days she's going in and working on the, uh, the COVID wards. So she's constantly basically in, you know, full PPE every day. So, you know, normally when, you know, people work in the hospital, they generally try and wear kind of less sort of loud fragrances. But at the moment, because everyone's in full PPE, um, you can wear what you like. So my wife leaves for work quite often before I get up. So I get up at six in the morning and I woke up the other morning to find that the house smelt everywhere of this. Everywhere she'd been, there was a, a slight bit of sillage still hanging around from, from this. And I could smell it everywhere. And then, off, you know, I, I went about my day, blah, blah, blah. And then my wife came home sort of early evening. And as she walked in, it came back. The performance on this is astronomical. Wherever she went in the evening when she came home from work before she had her after work shower, this was so, so apparent. It really, really strong. It just kicks off her skin. So I know that the performance on this is absolutely outstanding. It's not quite as loud as this one, but it's not far off. And it certainly lasts. I mean, it... For 12 hours, it was still projecting. So that gives you an idea of just how potent it is. The thing is with these kind of perfumes, it's very difficult to gauge the performance on yourself. Um, because of that ethyl maltol, you know, the e ethyl maltol uh, ambroxin style um, perfume, you go very, very quickly, you can go, go nose blind to it yourself. Lots and lots of people can't smell, you know, the BR540 DNA on themselves. Um, purely because it's so so strong you're you're you instantly become in tune with it and then you know before you know it you know you're, you're not picking it up you've gone nose blind to it because your, your nose is so um so used to it it kind of forgets about it so interestingly when i do wear this i kind of lose it a little bit and then i'll go to work i put my mask on or whatever and as soon as i take my mask off wow it's back again so performance wise this is absolutely potent as as it gets um which is fantastic if you know all of these kind of you know these kind of perfumes are generally very good performers and this one is absolutely no slouch at all it's really really good so how does it smell well to be honest with you when you smell it when you spray it rather you do get a little bit of the bergamot and the rose is kind of there but it's this sweet woodsy saffrony dna that we are all so familiar with that you know it's straight away that that becomes dominant as it starts to dry down you become a little bit more aware of some floral elements but i'm not picking out a freesia or an orchid i i, I just it, it doesn't i can't do it with this kind of perfume the patch does make an appearance as it dries down and i'm not actually getting any kind of real oud i think it's it's this sort of um you know if you look at say something like oud for greatness where you know it's using like an oud to kind of anchor the perfume and give it a bit more gravity and a bit more weight it's in that world it doesn't smell like oud for greatness don't get me wrong it's not a clone or anything like that this is much more of a br540 style perfume but it's using the patch to give a little bit of a sharp sharper edge to the dry down and just to give it some definition because otherwise you're just going to be lost in the sea this swimming sea of this sweet woodsy saffron there's no none of the latex nonsense in this one either so that's pretty good it just, it works so well. This is a DNA that you either love or loathe. And if you love it, you're not going to do, you know, for, for the money, I think this is around 50 pounds. There is still a 10% off if you use our code, which Rich will put up in the video. So if you want it, you can use that code and you'll get a discount from Aroma Concepts, which is a very kind of them. So, you know, to summarize, this is a sweet, airy, potent perfume that is one that's going to be for the thrusters it's one that's going to be for the more mature fragrance enthusiast if you like that dna it's completely unisex um it's probably a little feminine leaning but i think that whole dna is a little feminine leaning i love it personally so i've got no qualms at all about wearing it performance wise as i've been banging on it's off the hook it just lasts and lasts and lasts and kicks out forever and ever really really potent stuff and i think this is what you know as i said before every house seems to be doing um a kind of an interpretation of that and this is as good as any you know this is certainly up there it's a lot better than a lot more expensive perfumes so i think in terms of value it's on the money it really is spot on you could not get better than that for the money obviously you know my favorite is the thomas cosmala 
but as I say, that's 140 pounds for 50 mils. For sorry, that's 140 pounds for 100 mils. This is 50 pounds for 100 mils, and it's almost as good. In fact, in terms of value, it probably makes it a much better buy than the Thomas Cosmala. So you know, there you have it. If you like, you know, if you like this and you don't want to pay for it, you can get this. If you like this and you don't want to pay for it, get this because it, it's superb. And as I said before, you know, very very pretty bottles. I can't fault this perfume, basically. I think it's excellent. Um, and as I say, if you like that DNA, grab yourself one. Really is good. Anyway, listen, thank you very much for your time. It's much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and we will see you shortly on the next one. Uh, you know, sorry, once again, I will just say, as I've said before, if you want to talk about something, if you're going mad, if you want to chat perfume, whatever, hit us up on Instagram or leave some comments below and I will endeavor to get back to you as soon as, as, soon as we can. Um, you know, and also again, as I've said in previous videos, my time is really difficult at the moment to, to put videos together, to film them. So I'm trying to get them done whenever I get a chance. So we're not gonna be knocking out as many videos as we have done traditionally. Um, and that's purely because, you know, work is, is going crazy for me and Rich. So it's, it's difficult to, to get the time to balance it all out. But hopefully we'll try and get, a, you know, as many done as we can and get them out there because we've got a ton of stuff to review. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. I hope you're staying safe. Cheers and bye.